वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू एस वी यूनियन हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज स्टैंडर्ड सेवन जोग्राफी लेसन एट हाउ सीजन अकर पार्ट टू लेट्स फॉलो द हाउ सीजन अकर वीडियो पार्ट टू फिगर एट पॉइंट फोर शोज द पोजिशन ऑफ द अर्थ विथ इट्स टिल्टेड एक्सेस ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट जून एंड ट्वेंटी सेकेंड डिसम्बर इट ऑल्सो शोज it's illuminated and dark portions observe the figure and answer the following in figure a which pole is receiving sunlight it is the north pole is receiving sunlight in figure b which pole is not receiving sunlight in figure b south pole is not receiving the sunlight which hemisphere has the longest day time on 21st june in the northern hemisphere has the longest day on 21st june which hemisphere will have the longest night on 22nd december the northern hemisphere will have the longest night on 22nd december on which date will the tropic of cancer receive perpendicular rays on 21st june the tropic of cancer will receive perpendicular rays considering the position of the north pole which season will prevail in the northern hemisphere from 22nd march to 23rd september it will be spring from march to june and summer from june to september the cricket matches in australia are generally in summer When does Australia have summer? Australia has summer during December, January and February. In which period is the midnight sun observable in Norway? Which season will be there at that time? It will be midnight sun is observable in Norway from 14th May to 29th July. it will be summer in norway from 14th may to 21st july at what time will the midnight sun be visible at bharti research center of india at antarctica what will be the season there at that time the midnight sun will be visible at bharti research station of india at Antarctica from late September to 24th October it will be summer season geographical explanation when any one of the poles inclines the most toward the sun 23 degrees and 30 inches parallel of that hemisphere receives perpendicular rays see figure 8.4 The sun's rays are perpendicular at the equator on 22nd March and 23rd September. Which are the days of equinox? Equinox as the earth revolves around the sun, the equator receives perpendicular rays on two days. On these days both the poles are at the same distance from the sun. This condition occurs on 21st March and 23rd September. The circle of illumination divides all the parallels from north pole to the south pole equally at the same distance from the earth. This is called equinox. After 22nd March, other parallels between the equator and the tropic of Cancer in the northern hemisphere start receiving perpendicular rays. sequentially only on 24th june and 22nd december the rays become perpendicular on the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn respectively these two days are called solstice days solstice on 21st june the sun's rays become perpendicular on the tropic of cancer summer solstice On 22nd December the sun's rays become perpendicular on the tropic of Capricorn winter solstice these two days are called solstice days
21st June is the longest day and it marks the shortest night in the northern hemisphere. Sun's rays are never perpendicular on any of the parallels between Tropic of Cancer and the North Pole or between Tropic of Capricorn and the South Pole. 21st June is the longest day and it marks the shortest night in the Northern Hemisphere. Similarly, 22nd December marks the longest day and the shortest night in the Southern Hemisphere. 22nd December is the shortest day in the Northern Hemisphere. Polar Regions Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle In the region from Arctic Circle to the North Pole, the sun remains visible for 24 hours or longer. At the North Pole, the sun is visible in the sky from 22nd March to 23rd September, that is, for six months. Similarly, situation prevails in the region between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole in the period from 23rd September to 21st March. Note that on the equator, the duration of the day and night is same throughout the year, that is 12 hours each. Seasons have been decided on the basis of the duration of sunlight, equinoxes, solstice. The equatorial region does not experience any change of season. Hence, the climate in that region does not change at all in the year. In the places beyond equatorial region, in either hemispheres, summers or winters are experienced one after the other within a year. The occurrence of seasons one after the other in a year leads to the cycle of seasons. Generally, there are two seasons, summer and winter on the earth. However, in some places seasons taken to be four in all. The changes in the atmosphere, vapor in the air, the wind and the precipitation also influences the seasons. Continuous occurrence of rain in a specific period gives rise to an additional season besides summer and winter. Due to the local conditions, seasons other than summer and winter are seen to occur in different parts. For example, rain occurs in India in a specific period. Therefore, we consider four seasons such as summer, the rainy season, the period of retreating monsoon and winter. There are four seasons in Europe and North America too. They are summer, autumn, winter and spring. The cycle of seasons and the living world. If the earth's axis were not tilted, the seasons would not have occurred. It is the tilt of the axis that leads to the occurrence of the seasons, change and diversity on the earth. The cycle of seasons and the living world. If the earth's axis were not tilted, the same climatic conditions would have prevailed throughout the year. The seasons would have not occurred. One and the same type of climatic conditions would have prevailed on each of the different parallels. It is the tilt of the axis that leads to the occurrence of seasons, change and diversity on the earth. The living world on the earth is affected by the cycle of seasons. For example, in the regions between 66 degrees and 30 inches and 90 degrees in both the hemispheres, even the mild sunlight available for a part of the year gives rise to certain flora and fauna. In the Antarctica region, at the southernmost part of the earth, birds like penguins, fish like seal and animals like walrus are found. In the polar regions of the northern hemisphere, animals like reindeer, polar bears, 
Arctic foxes, etc., are found. People living in this region too have adapted to the natural conditions prevailing in that region. Our adaptation to the climatic condition is possible only up to a certain limit. That is why organisms prefer a certain habitat during extreme cold climate conditions when the food supply becomes scarce a number of birds and animals migrate temporarily trees bear fruits in a particular season therefore agriculture seasons also depend on to the local climatic conditions in polar areas snow line shifts north or south according to seasons this affect migration of birds and animals Use your brain power. While India and England are located in the same hemisphere, why are the cricket matches in these two countries arranged in different months? India is located in north hemisphere on the eastern side that is north eastern hemisphere. England is also located in north hemisphere but on the western side that is north western hemisphere so cricket matches in these countries two countries are arranged in different months on 21st march and 23rd september day time and night time are same all over the earth but why do some parts experience summer and some winter on these days if the earth's axis were not tilted the same climatic condition would have prevailed on each of the different parallels throughout the year the seasons would not have occurred it is due to the tilt of the earth's axis that some part of the earth experience summer and some winter on these days Mention any two countries in the world where one needs woolen clothing in the month of May. Also mention their latitudinal positions. South Africa is on 23 degrees south latitude. Iceland is on 65 degrees north latitude. Do you know Arctic tern? Once the winter at the North Pole becomes severe, This bird travels southward. When it is summer in the northern hemisphere, it flies back toward the north pole. It has to travel in search of food. In the course of one year, it travels around 70,000 kilometers. It might be the only species in the world that experiences summer twice in a year. Siberian crane Due to severe winter and lack of food, cranes from the cold north regions visit India, traveling around 8 to 10,000 kilometers. Once summer starts in India, they migrate back to the north. What effects do the seasons have on the biodiversity in India? Write briefly about it. The living world on the earth is affected by the cycle of seasons change in seasons cause immense biodiversity loss affecting both individual species and their ecosystem that support economic growth and human well-being great frequency and severity of heat waves and extreme weather is a threat to the survival of mankind and animals too flora and animal activity variation depends on the seasonal temperature variation with different species flowering at specific time before or after monsoon seasons any change in rainfall pattern poses a threat to agriculture give it a try regarding day time and the cycle of seasons What conditions would have prevailed at the following place if the earth's axis were not tilted use the globe to answer the questions Canada 
तास्मेनिया नाइजेरिया वेस्ट इंडीज पेरू बोर्नियो यूज योर ब्रेन पावर द समर कैपिटल ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इज श्रीनगर वाइल द विंटर कैपिटल इज जम्मू वॉट कुड बी द रीजन्स इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एवरी ईयर देर इज अ शिफ्ट ऑफ द सेक्रेटरीट एंड ऑल अदर गवर्नमेंट ऑफिस फ्रॉम श्रीनगर टू जम्मू एंड वाइस वर्स फ्रॉम मे टू ऑक्टोबर ऑल द गवर्मेंटल ऑफिस आर हाउस इन श्रीनगर विच इज द समर कैपिटल ऑफ द स्टेट फ्रॉम नवम्बर टू अप्रिल द ऑफिस आर हाउस इन जम्मू विच इज इन द विंटर कैपिटल ऑफ द स्टेट द जम्मू एंड कश्मीर हाईकोर्ट ऑल्सो मूव फ्रॉम श्रीनगर टू जम्मू इन विंटर एंड फ्रॉम जम्मू टू श्रीनगर इन समर्स सेकेंडली श्रीनगर वॉज ब्लिस इन समर सो इट इज अ स्ट्रेजिक एज वेल एज क्लाइमेटिक डिसीजन थैंक यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स